Here's example two of the setting up a unit re-prefix conversion topic. So we have 73 centimeters, and we want to convert this to however many kilometers it is. We're not going to do the actual calculation, but we just want to set up the conversion with the correct uh, conversion factors. So we're going from centimeters to kilometers. Do we know it? a conversion factor that will allow us to go directly from centimeters to kilometers. Some may, some who have an advanced understanding of this may be able to derive that conversion factor right now. But just off of the metric prefix table that we were shown in the lecture PowerPoint in previous topics, we cannot. So let's pull in the table and let's figure out how to convert from centimeters to kilometers. It looks like we can do it with two steps are two conversion factors. Our base unit is the meter. So I strongly recommend that you always go from the prefix to your base unit and then from the base unit to your desired prefix. So we have our given prefix uh, unit. Let's go to the base unit and then go from the base unit to our desired prefix unit. That's going to require us to have one, two conversion factors. So what is our first conversion factor? Our first conversion factor is one centimeter is equal to how many meters? Well, the trick I've showed you is that if you place a one in front of the prefix unit, centimeter, the number of base units or meters that it will be will be equal to the meaning of centi of the prefix. Here's centi, its meaning is 10 to the minus 2 or 0 0.01. Our second conversion factor, if we place a 1 next to the prefix unit, 1 kilometer is equal to how many meters? What's the meaning of kilo? 10 to the 3 or 1,000. So here we have our two conversion factors. Let's place them here in what you would place here. Let's, let's place them. That will, uh, in a way that will allow us to convert from centimeters to kilometers. We multiply 73 centimeters by our first conversion factor, and we're going to have to express it this way, with centimeters on the bottom and meters on the top. Well, we have to multiply this by a second conversion factor, and this needs to be expressed with 1,000 meters on the bottom and 1 kilometer on the top. This will give us some number of kilometers. How do I know? Let's check the units. Centimeters cancels. Meters cancels. I'm left with kilometers. If I go through with this calculation, the value that I get will be the number of kilometers that 73 centimeters is.